and welcome to my closet. I have been trying to get motivated to do this video for like a month. I am in desperate need of paring down, of getting rid of what I'm not going to wear. I'm feeling like maybe within the next, I don't know, couple of months, I will slowly start to emerge from my home and I want my closet to be more orderly and only filled with things that I love and I'm going to bring you guys along. So grab a beverage or even better yet, go into your own closet, put this on and we will clean out our closets together. Here's, here's how this happened for me. I don't know. Let's, let's just talk about our closets for a minute. During the great unpleasantness, um, I have struggled with purchasing items that I have yet to wear at all. Like, like I've never done in my entire life. I've never purchased, like these shoes right here, these beautiful Tory Burch flats that I like had on my bucket list to buy forever. They're gorgeous. I bought them months ago and they sit in the box. I'm gonna show them to you guys so you guys can see them. Aren't they beautiful? They've never left the house. <laughs> and I, I think the stress of the pandemic, I went into a little bit of a, like a, not a shopping frenzy because it's not like I bought anything that I won't eventually use. I just, it was a little weird that I kept buying clothes that I knew I wasn't going to wear, um, at least not in the short term. So the result of that is lots of bags, lots of shoes, and I need to decide what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna release, what am I gonna donate, am I gonna sell some of it, and uh, we will get started on this mammoth project. Okay, so this is my master closet. Now I'm not gonna show you what's going on. I'll just show you like, ah! Um, it was all in the dark and that was for the best. <laughs> that is my husband's section and it's a disaster and I don't clean up after grown men so he can deal with that. For the most part, what I like to have here are the clothes that are in like current rotation, okay? So the current season, what I'm currently loving and that I'm pulling for quite a bit, that has obviously gotten completely out of control. What is in this box right here is something that I am leaving as a treat for myself to unbox once I have done this closet clean out. Do you ever do that? Like I feel like I need, I need a little carrot and that's gonna be my carrot. When you move over here, I have all of my shoes. I never even put my spring and summer shoes away, so that's probably for the best. Then I have all of these drawers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna tackle the drawers today, if I'm going to be honest, because this is like leggings and workout clothes and socks and underwear, and I may save that for another day. That feels like super overwhelming. But all of these drawers, and by the way, all of this stuff here is from the container store. So yeah, I thought we would make this video a little on the chatty side because it's kind of like the whole clothing thing. And now you can see more of my husband's closet, which is just like, pretend you can't see over there because he's a slob. And he has drawers and stuff and beautiful shelves. He just doesn't utilize them and I'll clean it up and then it's just a mess again. So at some point you stop doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result. Isn't that the definition of insanity? I believe it is. So I think what we'll do is just kind of go through, let me turn you guys this way. I think we will go through these clothes right here first. Now, most of this stuff is stuff I have been wearing, but I need to move out the things that are um, seasonal. You know what I really should do? I should go grab my rolling clothing rack, and that way we can put everything on that clothing rack that I'm kind of on the fence about. So hold on and I'll go grab it. So what I did was all the things that were either out of season or I'm not going to wear them quite as often, I've put over here. Um, things like this dress, which, you know, if you want to know the power of a little black dress, I bought this at Ann Taylor on sale in 1998, and I still wear it at least three to four times a year. It's just a black sheath dress. So there are certain items that I will hold on to forever, even though I don't wear them quote unquote regularly because they're just great items and that's one of them. Um, other things like this little shell here, I do wear this. It's great for a pop of color. It looks great on camera. I just don't wear it all the time. So that's like 
probably the biggest tip I learned when I was working at the container store when it comes to closet organization, because remember, I was a closet designer, is make sure that in wherever is the most convenient for you to get to in your closet, that's where you're keeping the clothes you wear regularly. And even as I'm saying that, this little skirt, as adorable as it is, this is like to wear for vacation or to go out. I'm not probably wearing this on just like a weekly basis, so this can probably go in another section of my closet. Um, it's, it's nice to be able to just have what you wear all the time in a really, really convenient space. Over here, these shirts right here, and I'll talk a little bit louder. Hold on, I have to move a box. Are you organizing with me? Have you put me on and you're going through your closet at the same time I'm going through mine? So this top I have worn and worn and worn. I love it. However, the colors have started to bleed a little bit and it's gotten a little pilled, a little worn out. So that is going to go in the donate pile. Um, these pants I love. I don't know why they're there and not with the pants. So those are staying. This is my 2020 vote top from the Tory Burch Foundation. I feel like I have to keep this for posterity, right? Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, we, that was a big deal. And there will be other elections. So I will have an opportunity to wear that. All right. So all of that is now done. Now, I've gone through those clothes. I've donated a pile. I've gone through these, these Tory Burt shoes are definitely going to get worn. Um, the only thing I didn't show you guys over here is I haven't really found a home yet. This is the desk cover for my, my new Tory Burch bag. If you didn't see my, um, unboxing of that, make sure you go watch it because I love it so very much. So I think I'll keep that right here because I do intend on using this pretty regularly and I kind of like it where I can see it. <laughs> But let's do the unboxing of the thing that, that I got. Hold on. Okay, so here's how this works. You guys know that I don't um, do sponsored videos, but every once in a while, a brand will reach out and it's a brand I've admired for a while and that I kind of want for myself. And that was the case with Teddy Blake, New York. They did send this to me for free. Um, they're not paying me to do a review, but I'm going to do a quick unboxing of it and I'm going to use it for a little while and then I'll do a full review for you guys. But I got this in the mail yesterday and I was like, I have to open it up. So the deal with Teddy Blake is they are designer inspired and I'm such a moron when it comes to really, really high end bags. I don't even know what they're copying with this bag. Like, I think it might be an Hermes bag, but I, I don't know any of the Hermes bags, except for probably Birkin, which I will never own a Birkin bag in my entire life. So I don't, when they asked me to go to their website and pick one out, I truly did not even know, like, what, what should I pick? What's cute? What's whatever? So I based this solely on what I thought was cute. Now, all of their handbags are made in Italy, and I'm going to get more into that when I do the actual, like, review. Um, but we're going to... We're gonna look at it. So it comes in this beautiful box. Open it up. All right. Oh, really pretty, really pretty presentation. If you guys were looking to do this as a gift. Okay, so it did come with a dust cover. Okay, so <laughs> when I picked this bag out, I wanted something that I could wear. Um, you guys know I'm an ordained pastor. Sometimes I officiate weddings. I needed something that wasn't like quite as casual as all of the other bags in my wardrobe, but that was on the smaller side. So this is the bag that they sent me. This is the Chiara Vitello 11 inch. Again, no idea what kind of bag it's copying. It is very soft. This is Italian leather and it's a beautiful bag. So I'm gonna do a more in-depth review of that. I did wanna unbox it for you guys. And it does have a crossbody option as well. Very cute. Okay, more to come on that bag. I'm sorry. I'm, I just hold it. I'll just hold it while I talk to you. <laughs> I kind of feel like a fraud even getting a bag like this because I went on YouTube and I watched like other people's unboxings of them. And they're all people who have channels where they specialize like in Hermes or, or whatever. And I don't, I'm just not that level, as you guys know. Like, if I get a coach bag, that is a major splurge for me. If I get a Dooney, that is a major splurge for me. So I don't even, like, understand this world where bags that are $20,000 are even a thing. Um, 
However, uh, I do love this. I do love that they sent it to me, but I promise I'll bring you guys like a fully unbiased and honest review. Um, but as just on first blush, that's very pretty. It's very pretty bag. Okay, so now I'm on the floor and I really probably really should go through the drawers. I don't want to, um, but I really feel like I should. So I think what I'll do, what if I just do one drawer? What if I, so as not to get overwhelmed, what if I just do one drawer? And if I get done with that one drawer, then I'll move on to another drawer. Oh my gosh, you guys, hours and hours later. So I did end up cleaning out all of the drawers and I went through and I got rid of things and I folded things and I have a huge pile now for donation. I got my shorts ready for the summer. I've still got my hoodies in here and I decided to go ahead and grab my bathing suits out. So those are ready to go. Um, and they're all folded and I went through and got rid of a few. I cleaned out my workout tops. I found these bins are from, um, the Dollar Tree. And so they, you probably saw them. I had stored them up top, but I, they're perfect in my underwear drawer. So I got rid of all of the yucky old underwear that's not comfortable, which good for me. We should all do that. In here, I've got my workout pants. Um, I did learn something. I need new shoes. <laughs> like I have flats. And then of course I have those Tory Burch flats I showed you, but I just don't have very many shoes. And I put away my boots up top and I have like these empty um, shoe areas. So girlfriend needs to go shoe shopping. Um, I kind of pared down what I had for my jewelry. I went through that a little bit. I could do that again. Um, but yeah, things are feeling and looking a lot more orderly. Um, I did another swipe through here and made sure that everything that's here are really things that I love and that I wear. And then over here, I got rid of all of the hoodies that were hanging there. That will be filled up again. Like as I wear one, I will put it there, but I didn't want to just have all of them hanging there, which was good because I remembered that there was some stuff there that I didn't even remember I had. And then it just, this is kind of my nicer tops are there. And I just feel like everything is now truly cleaned out. I didn't just kind of do it halfway, you know? That ended up being a lot more involved than I had intended it to be. It's really remarkable how messy my closet had gotten. Like, I don't think I realized how many things I had purchased that I wasn't wearing, how many things I had left. Like, I found stuff that I should have cleaned out last year, but it's been such a cuckoo bananas time for all of us that I, I just... I feel like I've been living in an alternative universe. So it felt really good to get in here and get stuff cleaned out and organized. I've got all these drawers cleaned out. I now know exactly what I have. I can get to my workout gear. I found some favorite things that had been buried that honestly I thought I had lost. So still haven't cleaned out my travel closet because psychologically I'm not quite ready to go there yet, but it will happen. It will happen. We, we must have faith. So thank you so much for being with me today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I just love you guys. Thank you for being so encouraging, being part of my journey here on YouTube. And I'll see you next time. Bye!